Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, and for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Danjo, here with part one of a new retro classics series here on the Farts and Crap Show. Did I already say that? I probably already said that. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, it's Kirby 64. like a fairy girl like running from these things that busted up her crystal and got various characters um yeah played this a little bit um recently and uh it's a good game it's a really good game it's a lot better than i gave it credit for initially um i do have this as well on the kirby 20 Kirby's 25th anniversary collection I think is what it's called on the Nintendo Wii um, included this game as well as uh, a couple of the older ones I think Superstar and Kirby's Dream Land 3 and the original Kirby's Dream Land or Dream Land 2 I don't remember um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one though because we're gonna start over and uh, yeah, so initially you have like a couple of uh, options. And of course in settings, we're gonna have it on stereo. For style, this is like UI style. Um, the default style I don't mind, two is kinda good. I like four, four looks good too. Kinda fits the motif. Um, but yeah, it, this this game in a couple ways kind of reminds me of the Good Feel Kirby games. Uh, well, I mean, they made the Yoshi's Woolly World as well. But um, yeah, it shares some DNA with uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn as far as like style and presentation goes. Um, and there's actually a lot of things that originated in this game that I accredited to other games before um and like yeah i didn't know so um in the theater yeah it's just like you can watch like different cutscenes that you've seen before um it's also very interesting that this is one of the few n64 games i think the only n64 game on switch online that uh uses the d-pad entirely instead of the analog stick so that's kind of cool um the dark shadow this is just the intro this is what was playing um you guys missed like the first couple seconds but that was basically it yeah and then yeah you guys saw all this but, um, yeah, and then you have, like, a bestiary or whatever. Um, I guess there's a total of, wow, nine times nine? Nine pages of nine, so 81. Maybe 82 if, like, the far left one is one as well. Uh, and then there's, like, some mini games that you can do multiplayer on, um, I think there's more than just the three, but it could be wrong. I think you unlock some later. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, yeah, I know about the copy ability, and I'm going to go over that here in a bit. And uh, we got the intro cutscene here, where a very smooth Kirby meets the, uh, the fairy girl that got her crystal all busted. It's like, hey, check it out! <gasps> Oh, and they just weren't. Like, what's wrong? It's like, they're kind of busted into a lot of pieces. It's like, I can help you with that. It's fine. It's Curbs. It's what he does. He's the protector of Planet Popstar. Um, and yeah, you have this like super adorable um level select, basically. Um, and initially I thought that said 
zero six zero after like it's supposed to be a die like so that's the one i'm assuming like no world has more than like six stages but yeah you just select it and then cool little thing uh so yeah this ui style is not bad i kind of like the other one better i'm gonna try out a couple of them um but yeah, what's unique about this game is A, it was the first uh, Kirby game in, like, rendered in 3D. And, uh, B, you can actually combine abilities in this game. So, like, you drop your ability, you throw it at an enemy, and you swallow that, and then you get, like, a unique combined ability. So, there's, in effect, a ton of abilities in the game. Um, I'm gonna go over a lot of them, but not all of them, if you want to, like, I initially did that for this episode, where I was like, I'm gonna go over every single ability. Uh, it was very time-consuming, and there's, like, tons of combinations, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna show you guys some of my favorites. Um, Needle is okay. There's also, um... The first reference that I found to uh, Forbidden Lands, the new one, is actually the Double Needle ability. And then you do that, and it's like the Junk Needle or whatever. It's very similar. Um, however, the one that I want to use for now is going to be Fire. Except I screwed that up. Oh, Cutter is one of the better ones. Cutter and Fire is really good. I'll just show you guys that one now. Yeah, it's a Fire Sword. And just having it out, like, damages enemies. So, like, if you... And uh, if you press up... And then B, you can actually, like, throw it. Um, however, you can't fly while the sword is out. So, if you want to put the sword away, you have to throw it, basically. But you can just hold it up for a while, too. Kind of use it defensively like that. And, of course, you can just swing it like a sword. But yeah, I, I, I've been having a surprisingly great time with this game. Uh, I've played it before on the Wii, uh, like, but I just, uh, I didn't play it that much. I don't know if it was because the emulation wasn't good, or it's just like a slower game, so it didn't really click with me, but for whatever reason, I, I just wasn't the biggest fan. But, um... Yeah, playing it recently, like today, in uh, preparation for recording these episodes. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a great time. It's been a really good time. Oh, you can jump when it's above your head. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Um, another one of my favorite abilities is the bomb with certain things. Uh, Poppy Bros. His name in a lot of the games. Not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Alright, so Bomb and Fire together is incredible. Because, uh, baby, you're a firework. And yeah, you're basically just not invincible, but it takes out, like, everything around you, which is incredible. 
And our good friend Waddle Dee found another uh, crystal thing. I think that's just supposed to be the nightmare from the other Kirby games, like the other nightmare ones. Like Nightmare in Dreamland, uh, which I believe was just a remake of uh, Kirby's Adventure for the NES. He's crying. <laughs> Poor sad Waddle Dee. There we go. And we chased off the nightmare. Kirby's like, yo, Waddle Dee, come on, man. Such good friends. Uh, and this part's kind of weird. Um, you use, like, so you have to press A to stop Kirby and, like, aim at things. So, like, I want the card. I don't know what they're for, but it's, like, the unique item. Um, so I just want to stop it there. And then I still haven't figured out, like, this power meter thing, but I think here? Nope, that didn't work. Yeah, I'm still very much not good at that, but... Um, yeah, let's just go to the next level. So yeah, this stage introduces uh, a few new elements. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of this. Uh, we got Cutter returning, and then we got these... stacks of uh, things, which is... Uh, they have the stone ability. So, like, stone and fire? Did I try that one? Yeah, I did. Stone and fire is uh, another ability that I believe was in this game first. The uh, volcano fire. Which is also in uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. And also, if you grab stone... And... Oh, whoops. Want to make sure I line up the shot correctly. Uh, stone and cutter together is incredible because it uh, changes you into the support characters from Kirby's Dream Land 3, I believe. Yeah. Um, including the bird. And the bird has a super high jump. And. He can fly like Kirby flies. And basically, as far as I can tell, you're invincible. Like, while you're the thing. So, like, this one seems a little OP, in my opinion. Because you can just, like, wreck everything. Or he can be like the, the kitty. You can also jump, but he's a lot slower. Um, or the octopus, which has a high jump. And yes, I know these characters have names. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, and the other bird. The, um... Who I guess can also fly. Very slowly. This one seems a lot less practical. And the fish, which can't do anything right now. I'm assuming the fish is helpful for, like, water segments. Um, it does seem to be random, so you can just, like, keep trying until you get the bird. Which is what I would do, personally. Alright, so I'm gonna get rid of that for now because that's not even the one that I want to do. Stone and electricity would be... which one is this? Oh yeah, it's like a weird gravity rock thing that like you can't really control, but it homes in on enemies or whatever. It's fine. Uh, 
Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. However, electricity and a bomb is another one that is uh, referenced in Kirby and the Forgotten Land. See? You're a light bulb. And then you burn out after a little bit. But it's cool because like you can walk around at normal speed, you can still jump, and you're basically invincible while like the electricity is going. Which is pretty sick. Shit. It didn't okay. Yeah, he wasn't like I don't think he was on screen yet, I don't think he spawned. Um, however, one of my favorites that I've found so far has got to be Electricity and Cutter. Did I try Electricity and Fire? Did I, I think I did that one. Oh yeah, Electricity and Fire is like, um, Kirby rubs his head to like, with something to like cause a bunch of static electricity and then like his head lights on fire and he runs around all panicked for a minute. It's uh interesting. It's not that good, but it's kind of funny. But yeah, electricity and cutter turns you into freaking Darth Maul. Which um is similar to the fire and cutter ability. Like, you can't fly while the thing is out. Um, but to put it away, you just press down, and then it does that. You only get the one move, but um, if you guys watched uh, any of my later Dark Souls 2 videos, or any of my Elden Ring stuff, uh, you may know I'm a big fan of Twin Blades. Big fan. I should probably show some of the other stuff, too. Alright. So, another one that, um, I'm not sure was directly referenced in the other ones. It, it, it's close enough. Um, so electricity and ice together turns you into a fridge. Which, you're not exactly a fridge in uh, Forgotten Lands, but there is the vending machine mouthful, so like, Close enough, right? Um, there's another one. Oh, hold on. That was uh, a little harder to get. So I'm not sure I should actually do that one. Wait, did I do electricity and bomb? Yeah, that was the, the light bulb. Oh, and Kirby's got idle animations. Cool. Um, yeah, there's a few other ones. Ice is largely disappointing. Um, however, ice by itself is still quite good. Um, what else did I want to show? Ice and Cutter? Did I even do that last time? Like, I'm not sure I know what that one is. I think I did, because I tried like all of the combinations in like these first two stages. Um, some of them are cool, some of them aren't really worth mentioning. However, uh, ice and stone together is pretty sweet. you become a curling stone. I'm not sure if it's called a stone or like if it goes by a different name. But the the thing the bowler in curling uh, tosses. And like you can't jump while you're sliding around like this but you can get some speed going. Like, it's pretty good. Um, 
shit, did I hit the... No, I didn't. Okay. Alright, so yeah, Cutter and Ice, I don't think I combined. Um... It's kind of strange. Like, I haven't seen the sword ability in this game yet. And sword is usually a very basic one in Kirby. Like, you... It's like a first stage kind of thing. Most of the time. Did I do Cutter and Bomb? Actually, do I know what Cutter and Bomb is? Did I... Try it out before? Did I not try it out? I must have tried it out, right? Oh, yeah, this one's actually really tight. Um, they're exploding shuriken that are invisible. And it kind of like stops your enemy for a second. It's kind of cool. You just like, and the range on it is super long. Like, you just have to like line up your shot. Yeah, like that. Oh, you can just spit guys into other guys. I forgot about that. Huh. So yeah, Cutter has a lot of really cool combinations, honestly. Um, Ice... Oh, wait. Ice and Cutter was the one that... Yeah, I do know what that is. That was the other one that I wanted to show you guys that, um... I think this is where it originated. I'd have to look at, like, the timeline of, like, Kirby games that released. Uh, because this was in 2000. Um, Kirby's... Like, I'm trying to think of the one that came... Before this. This was the first one on the 64. Pretty sure. But, uh... I kinda just wanna get the laser sword back. Um... Yeah, so Cutter and Ice together is the ice skating one. Which I think... Ah, oh, damn it. I think it originated in this game. Could be wrong. Um, I said, oh, lightning. lightning and lightning, lightning and yeah, double electricity isn't that good. Um, I guess I could use the fridge ability for now. You know, I'll, I'll just stick with the. Damn it. Uh, the bomb, and you know, I'll just get another ability later. I won't. No, because I think there's a boss fight coming up. Um, I could go with the light bulb. Yeah, I'll just go with the light bulb. Let's see, we got like 10 minutes left. Alright. Yeah, there's a there's a secret one up here somewhere. And remember where there it is. It's uh, not a very secret secret, but no, 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 no. There we go. It was a. Uh... I think Stone and Cutter was a really good one that I wanted to show you guys, but we'll get... Ah, uh, shit. We'll get to that later. Damn it.
Oh, I had to damage myself to do that, but it worked. And it's the painter girl. I forget her name as well, but... Her brush just has, like, a rainbow on it. It's all the colors. Yeah, that's what you get if you... <laughs> I know the colors. Not a nightmare blob. I mean, like, black. And she's scary as shit. Wait, nope. Oh, it's the boss's health bar. I was like, why is the red bar going down? Now, that one's confusing. Did she, like, paint something that needed to be censored, or intentionally went with, like, a simplistic style, but... Okay, so you're the real boss, Gacho. the light bulb intentionally to like to not have to walk into the enemy? Okay, gotcha. It's like, yay, more of my crystal shards. <laughs> I got five. A pie down low. <laughs> Hell yeah, we'll help. Making friends, being doing adventure stuff. Uh, now. I'm so confused about this one. What's like, is it, is it the down? Is that far? That is what it is, okay. Gotcha. Did we get all three? We got all three, okay. Uh, so yeah, stage one, stage two, we got all three so far. Stage three, we got three more, not surprising. And uh, yeah, you don't get your health back in between episodes, or in between episodes, in between, they're kind of like episodes, in between stages. Um, oh, we're only at 28 minutes? Okay. Um... I think that's a good place to end this one, though. We're... I mean, it's closer to, like, 30, so... Yeah, that'll work. But yeah, uh, thank you all for being here, guys. Greatly appreciate it. And, of course, before we get going, a very special thank you to the current Farts and Crap Show members at the time of recording. It's just Novalis Draconis. Uh, and if you guys are unfamiliar with channel memberships here on the Farts and Crap Show, uh, the channel members get to pick... Uh, they get to vote on the uh, members' choice polls that I put out to decide the next Retro Classics series. Um, so if you guys want to get in on that, uh, the tiers start at 3 bucks a month. It helps support the show more directly. If you guys can swing in and all that stuff, it'd be very much appreciated. But um, yeah, no worries. Until next time, everybody, uh, take care. I hope you have a wonderful day and... I hope you enjoyed this um, first episode. Just romp through Kirby 64. It's been uh, it's been a great time so far, and um, excited to bring you guys part two. So, till next time, take care. <laughs>